and real walkthrough. Crap everywhere. I'm gonna need you guys help. Oh my gosh. Here's a sneak peek. Of today and welcome to the first full day like normal daily routine for us in this house we spent a couple days in here but today is the first official day back to somewhat of your regular programming by regular programming I actually don't mean regular programming at all I just mean that the kids are back to school today sports resumed today we no longer have time to focus our entire time and energy on this house we got the kids up out of out the door this morning it was a little bit of a rough start just because we had a really really long weekend but we made it and I wanted to show you guys the status of this house 48 hours after moving in now we have done a lot of work here you guys a lot here's a raw and real walkthrough of what our house is currently looking like here we've got the kitchen. I finally started on this pantry. I was waiting for the liners um, to line the cabinets. That way the items didn't stick to the new paint in there. Got those, started loading it, which means that the boxes here are significantly less. The kitchen is the most done in the entire house. I'd say it's a good 90% done. Things are mostly put away over there. This area is looking pretty bare. We've got boxes galore in every which way. Let's see, this room, how's this room coming? This room is, eh, it's going. <laughs> Things are just kind of stored and stashed everywhere. In this room over here, this is the least done of them all. This is like where everything is currently being stored. It's like the only spare room in the house at the moment. So this is the boys' beds. We've just got pieces of furniture here that have yet to be put in their places. Let's see, on the way to the boys' room in here, this is what we've got. The status in here, we've got their soccer backpacks ready to go. The mess from this morning for getting ready for school. A donate bag. The beginnings of getting their closets put together, but as you can see, that's how that's going. TV that hasn't been hung yet inside their bathroom. We've got boxes. This bathroom has nothing put away in it at all yet. Lilia's room over here, kind of the same business. Just overall livable, but you know, we're still trying to figure out where everything goes, where everything's spot is. I'm hoping to do a little bit more of that today. Bathroom is done, but not unpacked. Addie's room, which I was really hoping to get more progress done on this yesterday. Didn't really get to it, so that's happening today. We've got makeshift stairs on the walls, preparing for the upstairs. Okay, what about this way? Mimi and Poppy's room, their room actually looks really nice. It's really, really put together. And then the master, that is also a mess. One of the biggest messes as well because just crap everywhere. I have to admit, I do not miss living out of boxes. This is the least fun of it all, which is why I am going to put any time and energy that I have today into unpacking them. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna need you guys help today. I know you guys have soccer, but we have a lot of stuff to do. You're doing your job. Are you ready to go to soccer? It is randomly rainy out of nowhere 
it was so pretty and I have to say I'm so grateful because on the day that we moved it was literally the most gorgeous weather in the entire world however suddenly today the weather is terrible but it even says it's gonna thunderstorm a little bit and you know that's all fine and dandy except two things one the boys have soccer I feel bad they're used to it at this point does it even phase you no it doesn't, fa doesn't even phase them anymore. But, I mean, that can't be fun. And on top of that, we have one more important thing that we left at our old house. I mentioned this a little bit in our last couple of videos, but Mango, our bearded dragon, is still at our old house. He spent an extra day there, but he's fine. He probably doesn't even know any difference. I think we miss him more than he misses us. Thing is, is that he's on a very specific heat schedule. Like, his um, heat lamp turns on at a certain time and it turns off at a certain time. And I just want to make sure that I don't train for him when his heat lamp is off. I don't know if it's like that big of a deal, but I just feel like he obviously cannot be transported in his cage. We have to carry him, which is great. We've carried him tons of different times, but then to put him back into his cage when his heat lamp is off and it's like, I just, I don't want it to throw off his schedule. It, like I said, it might not be a big deal for him, but I just feel like I just want to make it a smooth transition, especially after the cat situation. They had a little bit of a rough day the first day and I don't anticipate that happening with the dragon, especially because his home around him is literally the same. We're not changing him out of his cage. We're just moving his cage. So anyway, we are not leaving him another day. We're going to go pick him up. We're going to drop these boys off at soccer. We're going to go grab our mango. We actually still have a few things that the house that we need to grab. I love you guys. Love you. Mwah. Mango. And mango stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna have you hold him. We're gonna load his cage. Not too sure how. I'm gonna have you put this on so he doesn't scratch your arms. This is going to be quite heavy. Mango, hi. You wanna go see the new house? <laughs> we still have a few, as you can see, quite a few things that need to make it on our very last trip. With the movers leaving at 3 a.m. that day, we prioritized what was making it that day. Oh, you know what? Let's open up one of these boxes and put all of his decor in it because that's gonna be heavy. That's probably what's making it heavy is all this, all these rocks and stuff. Mango's home is safely transported onto the vehicle. I'm gonna thank my strength training I've been doing to be able to lift that thing because that thing is freaking heavy. Don't let the looks deceive you, it's filled with tile. Don't forget that when Chris made this, it is filled with heavy stuff inside of it. It's very, very sturdy. In fact, anytime anyone has come to our house, they see that, they're like, where did you get that? And I'm like, my man made it. He's a fine craftsman. What is it called? Carpenter. He's a fine carpenter, Amy. <laughs> he put this whole thing together. It was not it was a dinner project for sure. Yeah, it was very difficult, which is why it's very important. Oh no, oh no. Speaking of, but that was that's the IKEA furniture messing up, not us. I have enough support throughout the back that that's. But when you go on bumps, is it gonna break it more? It'll be fine. Should you knock it into place? It'll be fine. I don't know, babe. Oh my gosh, we just loaded up the truck. We grabbed as much stuff as we could that was left. There's not a whole lot left here, honestly, but it's maybe a couple more loads like this. But as we're leaving, oh my gosh, look at this rainbow. Are you kidding? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hold on to Mango, girly. We've got Addy packed in here too. Can I have my phone really quick? I want to take a picture of this rainbow out here. Mango looks like he's ready for the ride. You're gonna have to hold him though, darling. Okay, drive the slowest and carefulest you've ever driven because we have a lot of breakable things in the back there. Oh, it's a double rainbow. Really? Look at that. Where? Right oh. next to it. Oh my gosh. Two of them. Home. We have him set up right next to the window too. That way he can get some fresh 
fresh air. More like a view. He'll be able to see out there. I have a feeling he's gonna like that. But this is it. He seems unbothered. This is going to be a temporary spot for him though. I think he's eventually gonna end up in that room, but that room is just packed full of stuff still. So this is gonna be his temporary spot, much like everything else in the house. Back to picking up where I left off in this room. I actually made a lot of progress earlier, but now I'm gonna put it together a little bit. See what I can do in here. That needs a little TLC. Tell me things I can't say myself from you and nobody else. Everything inside of us is awesome new to me. I can do it all in your way. Say all the things that you say. I can do it all in one night. When I go out, the light doesn't shine on me. I fade out. It's all so new to me I need you Someone to show me the way The light doesn't shine on me officially finished one room in this entire house. It happens to be the smallest room in the entire house, but it feels good to at least have one checked off. Take that lightly. I just mean livable and like somewhat decently cute. We have no decor hung or anything, obviously. But here's a sneak peek of Addie's temporarily finished room. Here we go. Nothing compared to what the room she just left, but don't worry because one day it will be that great again with a brand new theme. The only thing I'm missing, I'm missing one box. I can't find it. I don't know where it ended up, um, but that box has her actual comforter and then a couple other pillows. That's the only thing that I seem to be missing in here. She's got this cute little canopy with all of her stuffies in it. So cute. She's going to be excited to see all of them. Her desk, her bed, and then this armoire, which is where we're keeping all of her clothes at the moment because this is not a proper bedroom technically it's just a little office space but I feel like this came together so like way cuter than I expected it to way cuter than I expected it to as well as way more functional than I expected it to this space along with every space in this entire house when I walked through this house empty I thought to myself that the rooms felt small all of the rooms in the house at literally every single space turns out I'm just not a good judgment of space because every single space in this entire house is significantly bigger than I thought. Like the boys room for their triple bunk bed, I was like, there's no way this is gonna fit. And it is most definitely gonna fit. Especially this little room, like I, no way. I didn't even think we were hardly gonna be able to fit a bed in here, let alone her bed, a dresser, her vanity, and an armoire for her clothes. Yeah, this is absolutely best case scenario. But she's not gonna be sleeping in it tonight. She's already fell asleep in our bed. I'm eager to move on to the other kids' rooms. The other kids' rooms are all already sleepable and livable, but they're all passed out asleep in there. So I'm not gonna go work in there. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to put finishing touches on their rooms, but they all already have their clothes put away, their beds out, their closets done, and all that. So anyway, room number one, check. On to our next project of the day, just because the day is over for every other human probably in this city, doesn't mean it's over for us. We've been staying up late every single day, maximizing every second of the day, and today is no different. So before we go to bed, I want to seal our countertops. These are quartz countertops, and because they're quartz countertops, um, you should seal them regularly, according to the video I just watched. So I did some research and I ended up finding this stuff on Amazon. It's called 511 Impregnator Sealer. Had amazing reviews. I personally haven't used it before, but we're gonna use it today. We're gonna try it out. It says 20 year satisfaction guarantee, but I don't know how, it doesn't actually say how often that you should seal it. Didn't they tell us once a year? I don't know. Let us know down in the comments. If you are a sealer pro, how often should we be sealing our countertops? All I know is we're sealing it today. The problem is, is that it has to cure for two to five hours, which is why we're doing it in the middle of the night, because that way it's guaranteed no one's going to touch it all night. But then beyond that, it says it takes another 24 to 72 hours to fully cure, but it says that you can still use it. It just says don't put staining materials on it. So it says to use a miracle applicator, which we do not have, but on the bottle, it also says that you can use a towel you can use a paintbrush, you can use a paint roller, and we do have that. So we're gonna use a paint roller just because today is 
the perfect day to do it. Tomorrow my kids have a minimum day, which means that they don't have lunches tomorrow, which means in the morning I don't have to pack their lunches, which means that this countertop is going to be significantly less used in the morning. So it's like, just couldn't be a more perfect day to do this. You know what it also says? It says we should have like a, do you have like a paint thing? Like you can't just like, we kind of decided that we were gonna do half of the countertops today and then the other half of the countertops tomorrow, just so in the morning we can stay away from, I don't know, like we have to still function in the morning. Like we have a toaster over here for the kids in the morning, so I don't know. We just decided we're gonna do half of the countertops today and I guess we'll do the other half of it tomorrow. Okay, this is, oh, this is sketch. It says to apply it generously and then you wipe off the excess after three to five minutes. So I don't think it matters like if it spills. They just kind of say to apply it everywhere. My roller is not rolling. It does not smell pretty, that's for sure. I think it's working. It looks good, keep going. I don't know, like how do you know if it works or not? You find out tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think so, I think you find out when there's a stain. No, it says water beads up on top. It won't soak in. I guess we'll just wait it out. And that is going to wrap up my projects for today. It is currently one in the morning, but I feel very accomplished. I feel like we got a lot done today, even though there's so much more left to do. I have to admit, even though it is like highly exhausting, this is so fun. Like I love getting to set everything up and like pick places for things. I just really like it. I've enjoyed every second of it, even the exhaustion. It's all an experience, that's life. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for our next video. I'm sure we'll have a ton of new adventures as per usual. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.